Hey guys, which technology you think will have a higher adoption, artificial intelligence or blockchain? Let's discuss it in this video. And in the description, I have a 75% discount link to the conference on digital assets here in Porto on May 8th and 9th, where I will be on a panel discussion about the future trends on AI, blockchain and NFTs. Hope to see you there on the conference. The link with the discount is on the description. So let's talk about AI and blockchain adoption. And I will discuss here about two, two main topics that could change how these two technologies are, are adopted. One is the maturity level and the other one is how relatable they are, right? So on the maturity level, for me, it's a big win for blockchains, right? So contrary to what most people, most general citizens could believe, most AI projects, most AI applications are on a prototype or pilot stage. They are not on a productive stage where we can trust them or where they can you know, ensure a certain level of reliability. Most of them, right? The vast majority. Contrarily, if we go to blockchains, for example, if we talk about Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever of these cryptocurrencies, the general population already trusts them and, and the general population already I won't say necessarily trust them, but they can rely. They can, uh, they know they will be there uh, available, and it's already on a productive stage. So that's a big point uh, for for blockchain. Okay, the maturity level of the technology. Of course, we can argue that blockchain is much more of a technology, a vertical technology, while AI is much more of an area of knowledge that is more horizontal and diverse, and that makes AI that makes it difficult for AI to reach. A productive level of maturity across all disciplines of AI. For example, we have seen high levels of maturity on recommender systems. I mean, Amazon sends recommendations every day, and that's already on a productive productive stage. Yes, I know, but I will say it's like an like a Pareto law, right? Like an 80-20. Like 20% of the applications that you have contact with on with AI that represent, I guess, the 80% of your interactions are on a productive stage. But the vast majority of tools that you see out there are still on a prototype stage, okay? So that's a big point for, for blockchain, okay? Then regarding relatedness, relating, re, regarding how much a general user, a general citizen can relate with the technology, can associate the technology with a real life benefit that they can get, AI wins by a lot, okay? Here it's a big point for AI. Why? Because, I mean, AI is about intelligence. That is a concept that we associate typically mainly with humankind. Of course, there are many species that are intelligent at different degrees, but that's a, techno that's a concept that we can relate with. And if we talk about, for example, perception, right? And by perception, I mean like computer vision, like identifying objects on, on images or NLP, natural language processing, which is understanding text and generating text like ChatGPT does. Those are two concepts that the general citizen can understand what's the benefit of having a machine being able of doing that. Same thing as recognizing cancer, right? But if we talk about the centralized databases, mm, I don't I don't see how the general citizen can relate with that concept or with that technology, right? And I believe that will be a, a big challenge for a widespread adoption of blockchain. So how can we ensure the general user can see the benefit of supporting this technology? And if the only criterion for choosing a company A versus company B is that company A has its infrastructure on the blockchain, while company B has everything centralized on their databases, on their, inside their, their, their clusters, inside in-house, then that's a big, a big challenge because the general citizen doesn't care that much about privacy, about audit, audit trails, etc., as it should, okay? So I believe we have a hard work in front of us to make sure the general user can relate with these concepts and can value these principles as much as they value a chatbot that is smart and that can grant immediate access to information, as it is the case of ChatGPT and all of these AI technologies, right? The issue is that the issue I see is that there is like a trend on blockchain community where it's like it's like a ghetto in in the sense of you know it's very technical and they are okay with it being technical. Okay, and a lot of what we do here on this channel is demystifying AI, and I believe this work has to be done on the blockchain community. So we need somebody that is constantly trying to demystify uh, blockchain cryptocurrencies without saying the other side is wrong, without saying uh, everybody should trust Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever cryptocurrencies or whatever blockchain just because 
the signs says you should, right? So that's that's the biggest challenge I, I foresee for the adoption of, of blockchain. So how can we find another application other than cryptocurrencies? Because cryptocurrencies, I do see the value, right? It's access to the financial system. But what about the other applications that we can find? How can we make sure the user has a deep interest on making sure those technologies, those applications come to life? Okay, that's the big, the top challenge uh, I foresee. Remember, a, a blockchain is about decentralization. And if you want decentralization, we want the general population to know what it is, how they can, how it can benefit them, and what's the impact, what's the, what's the, the counterback of not having a decentralized system, right? Remember, there is a link on the description with a 75% discount to the conference on digital asset assets now in may in may 8 and 9 here in porto and i will be there on a panel discussion so hope to see you there in the next video i will talk about some common applications joint applications between ai and blockchain okay so see you there bye bye